You are watching America Trends, where we cover all the hot topics of the day. I'm Barry Nussbaum, filling in tonight for Dr. Gina. Our poll question today, was the FBI correct by not asking to indict Hillary? Go vote now at u2america.com or on the U2 America app. Download it if you don't have it already. My next guest, are you ready for this? It's Dr. Gina on her own show. Yay! <laughs> Where are you? I, you know, I don't know because I was just riding along, trying to get to Cleveland, and John said, there is a Nordstrom. And I said, let me out. And so I'm, I'm at a Nordstrom. You're shopping. That's a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking maybe we could just make the show about what dress I should wear because this could be a really important dress. I mean, you don't even know what else could go down. You know, while I'm wearing this dress, whatever the dress is. Oh, so. come on, G. You, you always look good. Come on. Oh, thank you. We can we Thanks, can solicit Bear. we can solicit input from our millions of people, and everyone's going to say she looks great. Go buy it. I hope John's ready to spend some money tonight. He better be. He better <laughs> be. I think John's in the bar. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> well, you can. Everyone knows you can talk Jason into anything, so that'll be easy. All right. Are you ready to talk politics? I'm ready. It's, it's been a political night. So, yeah. first thing, the rumor is from every source in the world that Pence is the choice, and yet the press conference for the morning was delayed. Trump's people say it's out of respect for what happened in the tragedy in Nice. He wants to yeah. talk about that instead. Is that really why the delay? I, I tend to take him at his word. I think that is why the delay. I still have a little bit of hope that my guy Newt might come back for some reason, but uh, I do think it's probably at this point going to be Pence. And, and I have to say, all the vetting that's gone on, um, I, I trust Mr. Trump's decisions. I think to this point, he's handled everything so well that um, and I, I just can't imagine that he'd make a bad decision here. I think he's really thought this through. Well, you know, we talked about this last night uh, while you were driving in the motorhome <laughs> uh, on the way to Cleveland that uh, Pence that sounds has, so bad. I know, but... <laughs> like, it, of all it, the things I never wanted to be doing, we can, driving it, in a motorhome to Cleveland. But I know, am very excited about this trip. I hope you're videotaping, because <laughs> this should be a show or maybe a series. <laughs> Dr. G goes to Cleveland. <laughs> a um, we, reality show. <laughs> we talked about this last night on the show, that, that Pence met the entire Trump family. Uh, Donald took the kids. They had a whole evening. Uh, it was a real schmoozathon to get the families merged together. You know, mm -hmm. that happens when there really is a team being put together. So, like you, I'm a Newt fan, but it yeah. sure looks like it's going to be Pence. I, I think that it probably is at this point. And, I, and again, I, I think we'll start to see as it starts to unfold. I mean, uh, Pence is, is squeaky clean, married to his high school sweetheart. I don't think they're going to find any dirt on this guy about the worst thing you can say is he has disagreed with some of the major policy that Donald Trump says. But uh, President Trump's vice president. So, well, there you have let's it. talk about that. What does he bring to the ticket that Trump needs help on? Right. Well, there's obviously there's the state. Uh, and that would be really nice if he could deliver that. But then I also think that there is just sort of a more. Um, a relationship with the establishment that uh, might help mend some fences along those lines uh, in order to make things easier to get support from people that Donald Trump hasn't traditionally had support from, which, of course, is the establishment. But the nice thing for voters, if Pence truly is the vice presidential uh, choice of, of Mr. Trump, is that he, he Trump will still be president. The vice president doesn't make a whole lot of choices. And so it's not like he would be bringing in someone who leans more establishment. It's just that someone who leans more establishment can, establishment can help forge some avenues for him. And I think that's not a bad thing. Okay. I, I buy all of that. Let's, let's change gears. For those people that sure. don't know, you're a delegate. You're going to right. be a participant, as is your husband. Right. So what everybody's talking about, G, is the Rules Committee. The big debate, right. what's happening on the Rules Committee that really matters, especially about the first ballot obligation of the Trump delegates. What do you know? 
Well, now they're bound, and uh, because that's what that's what they voted, and I think that's a really good thing. And there's some other really good things that have uh, been incorporated into the platform, things like Kate's Law that I think are really important. Uh, certainly the word wall was changed from the word fence, so I think those are really important nuances that are also, frankly, a party hat, hat tip to uh, nominee Trump. So these are some really good things we see happening. And I can't think of much of anything that I don't like about what the platform uh, committee is doing so far. I'm hearing all good things. And I just actually got another really good report, but I don't want to say it because it's so breaking and I haven't confirmed it, again, regarding the platform and the committee. I'm dying to hear it. You'll be back on Monday. We can ask for inside stories then. Absolutely. Uh, there, was, there, was, there were tweets put out today that Trump said this is the strongest pro-Israel platform in GOP history. Um, Thank God. Do you have any thoughts on that? I'll tell you, I'm really excited personally. I'm really excited about that too. I'm excited about stiffer penalties for people who commit crimes who are illegal. I'm excited about much harsher rules regarding who can come to our America uh, and endanger our citizens, specifically speaking about Syrian refugees and uh, citizens from uh, jihadist countries. So all of these things are really good things. These are a huge step in direction. And I just want to remind people, I do believe that if it were any of the other nominees, we wouldn't be seeing some of these sweeping changes that are needed more now than ever. Thank God. Couldn't agree with you more. So yeah. let's talk, let's go back for a second on, on the convention and the rules. There's still a really strong dump Trump. They've got five different hashtags. Is that over? Is that fight behind us? Is it Trump on the first ballot and get it over with? It, I, that fight, I believe, is really over, Barry. I'm not here. I'm hearing people that were never Trump forever that I thought would just go to their graves never Trump, right? Um, I'm hearing some of them even moving around and, and coming over to this side. I think that certainly the terrorist attack killing 77 in Nice, uh, our hearts go out to the people of Nice. Barry, I'm sure you've been there before. I've vacationed there as well, and it's absolutely heartbreaking. It took place in the promenade, right where my husband and I like to stay. And uh, I'm just, uh, and I was planning to take my family there this year, as a matter of fact. And so um, I think in light of things like that, people are starting to understand what a dire situation we're in. Wow, couldn't agree with you more. Gina's going to be back next week from Cleveland inside the convention. I can't wait to have you on. Oh, yeah, it's your show. It's going to be great. <laughs> and we're going to get the inside scoop on the Dr. Gina show from... Dr. Gina, best guest Thanks, ever. Me.